that time of year again when college students are sniffling and coughing through their classes. Students resort to their first aid kits and over-the-counter medicines to get through the day. But as many are now testing positive for COVID-19, campus protocols have noticeably changed since previous years. Since the 2023 school year began, case have been slowly increasing on Trinity University's campus. The COVID-19 updates page on trinity.edu reports that there were 30 reported positive cases the first week of September, and that number skyrocketed to 82 the week of September 18th. With all these new cases, students are asked to quarantine in their dorms or even go home to their families to battle the virus. Last year, the quarantine process at Trinity was quite different than it is now. We spoke to Dylan Hoffman, who went to quarantine in January 2023, to discuss her experience while quarantining on campus. I had COVID the start of uh, my spring semester last year. So Trinity gave me two options. I could go home and quarantine or I could uh, stay in Myrtle. Dylan said her quarantine experience was actually quite positive. I think they handled it very well from the very beginning when I told them I had COVID. They were in contact with me. I even had like a personal phone number um, because I chose to stay in Myrtle because I didn't want to drive home. Um, And they were very like sending me updates and everything. And I had like a personal phone number that they would call and make sure that I was doing okay. They were really helpful. This year, however, Trinity students are asked to stay in their dorms or even go home instead of retreating to Myrtle. We spoke to Josh Rosenberg, who recently dealt with COVID, to discuss his experience with the new COVID protocols. I had COVID Labor Day week, weekend, yeah. When I first found out that I had COVID, uh, Trinity, I called health services and they said to stay in my dorm for five days, wear a mask around anybody that I was in contact with, and they told me the meal situation and they overall just said to make sure that I was sanitizing and making sure that I was prioritizing safety around my roommate and anybody else that I was around. I feel like Trinity handled it really well, uh, given their situation and with how many people like were getting sick, I think that they handled it really well and very efficiently. As the school year continues to ramp up and illnesses spread around, students are recommended to update their boosters and test if they have any symptoms. There will be vaccination events held on campus by HEB to offer students the new booster, as well as the flu vaccine. Health Services is also offering tests to students during their business hours, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Additionally, if students are sick in any way, they can visit health services in person or use the Tiger Care Live Telehealth Services. Dylan and Josh also spoke about their experience on when to test. Ooh, I had it really bad. Uh, that was like the third time I got it too, and I had like every symptom possible. Um, the one that really got me were my body aches because that really took a lot out of me. I would say watch out for um, just like the small things because I know a lot of people can have COVID and just have like a stuffy nose. So I would just take in mind of like the small symptoms that you might not think are COVID but that are. I actually was asymptomatic and had no symptoms at all. And that was the most annoying part because you had to wait with no symptoms. But I think that if people needed to watch out for any symptoms, I think uh, maybe it would be runny nose and a little bit of like irritation with like your throat maybe. Even though when one is sick or quarantined with COVID, they can feel like the world is against them, Trinity University offers resources to help students through their quarantine.